Now we're going to start our look at the international news in Africa today. People in the Democratic Republic of Congo have voted for a new president, but it's been an election mired by numerous delays and also, unfortunately, some violence. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. So, Adam, what's the latest? Well, Mark, the vote itself was already two years delayed due to the political uh, turmoil in that country and logistical problems. The same issue arose on election day. Things started slowly as heavy rain in the capital, Kinshasa, forced many people to stay home. Those who went to vote had to wait for hours as many polling stations were not ready to open. One of the reasons for the delay was a failure to install new electronic voting machines. Now, these devices themselves have come under scrutiny for possibly being able to rig election results. Polls officially closed at 5 p.m. on Sunday local time, but those still waiting in line were allowed to vote. Meanwhile, there were isolated pockets of violence. A policeman and a civilian were killed in an altercation after voters accused an election official of voter fraud. The officer fatally shot a young man involved in the melee, and the crowd then beat the officer to death. The winner of the long-awaited vote will end President Joseph Kabila's 17 years in power, despite the frustrations of the chaotic preparations for Sunday's vote. The Congolese people are actually hoping that the new president will bring about stability in a nation plagued by authoritarian rule and civil wars. The final result is expected to be announced in a week's time.